In this video, we provide an overview of the important skill of decomposition. Decomposition means breaking a complex problem down into smaller, more manageable parts. Dealing with many different stages of a large problem at once is much more difficult than breaking it down into a number of smaller problems and then solving those one at a time. You do many tasks on a daily basis, getting up in the morning, brushing your teeth, traveling to school, doing your homework. These are all complex tasks with many steps involved, but you break them down and execute them without even thinking about it. Even an everyday problem like crossing the road can be broken down into subproblems. For example, stop before crossing, look left and right, is the road clear? If not, press the crossing button, wait for the lights to turn red, cross when the road is safe. So let's have a look at decomposition by considering this game. It's a breakout clone. So first of all, a little introduction. How does the game work? The player controls the paddle at the bottom of the screen and the paddle can be moved left and right. When the ball bounces off the paddle, it's redirected towards the blocks above. And if the ball hits a block, that block is removed. The aim is to remove all the blocks. But if the ball leaves the bottom of the screen, the player loses a life. So how could we use decomposition to help us break down the process of programming this game? Well, obviously we're gonna to have to deal with tackling the code that displays the paddle on the screen. So that could be one part. We'll also need to make sure the paddle responds to keys so we can move it left and right. We'll need to prevent the paddle from moving off the left or right of the screen when it reaches the boundaries. We'll have to display the ball on the screen. We'll have to program the movement of the ball and how it interacts and the angles it uses. We'll have to display the blocks on the screen. We'll have to program in some form of collision detection so when the ball hits a block, it's registered and the block is removed. We'll have to implement any winning or losing conditions, maybe dependent on the score or the number of lives remaining. And then there may be various extras we want to add, give the game a bit of flair, like sounds, background, effects and graphics. That's everything you need to know for this video. Pause now and take some notes.